Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. Today, I'm going to introduce to you my new car. That's right, the Tesla is gone. And now I am in, as a lot of you already know, the 2024 Chevrolet Equinox EV. Let's get into it. So everyone, I just picked it up, uh, very excited. Um, this isn't gonna be a super long video, just wanna introduce you to the car, kinda go over my initial plans, and then basically ask for what you all want videos on. Uh, so here it is, the Chevy Equinox. I picked up the 3LT trim in black. I'm really enjoying it so far, love the color. Again, I'm gonna have another video where I go over everything, but I'll do a quick walk around for everybody. Looks really nice, here it is, Equinox. Uh, it was beeping because I have the AutoSense liftgate on, but looks really great. A lot of cool features that I'll get into later. The one thing I will say I don't love, I don't love the chrome trim, um, but you know, it is what it is. It does look nice if you like that, but I wish it was all blacked out personally. Now I'm gonna hop in the car and kind of go over some of my thoughts after purchasing and my initial drive. Okay, everyone, so you join me inside of the Equinox EV. Um, I'm just going to go over my experience at the dealership and then um, kind of my initial thoughts. I'll do a much deeper dive in another video and then I will ask you all for some help. Before I do that, I just want to ask if you're interested in the Equinox EV, if you want to learn more about the Equinox EV, please give a subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. It's really important you do that because basically whenever I post a new video about this car, you'll get it. So if you already own the car and you're looking for tutorials, you'll get notifications as I post those. If you're interested in the car and you want to learn more about it and you're on the fence, maybe this might be your first EV, Go ahead, hit the subscribe, you'll get notifications, you can learn about this car, and maybe you'll learn that it's not for you, or maybe you'll learn it is the perfect vehicle. All right, moving on from that, uh, things went really smooth at the dealer. I ordered this in advance. There is no funny business as far as the price is concerned. They gave it, uh, you know, gave it to me at MSRP with a bunch of um, discounts. Obviously, I got the the federal tax credit, and then I got a Costco thing, a teacher thing, and then they had another um, little discount there. So added up to about 10 grand off the price of the car. I did get um, Super Cruise added to this car. Uh, so I'm gonna let you know if I think that's worth it in the end, but that did uh, raise the price of the vehicle by $2,700. Um, I know a lot of people might be looking into the one LT. That's not out yet, but throughout my videos that I'm gonna post, I'm gonna highlight the difference between the one LT trim, because I know a lot of people are really interested in that because of the price, and then the three LT trim that I have, and two LT when I remember. Uh, but there is that, and then I got the car. I did uh, take a little bit of a bath on the Tesla, but thanks to the tax credit and everything else, it kind of, it makes it a wash. It won't be the end of the world. It would have been nice to have additional money off of this one to have a little bit lower payment, but. It is what it is, and it's gonna be okay. That being said, I did end up buying this car over leasing it because um, the lease deals just weren't good right now, but maybe in the future, the lease deals will be better, and that might be um, enticing for some people to go go for. Upon initial impression, I, like, I'm gonna be honest, like, it's a Chevy. The quality is really good. Like, I'm enjoying the quality of this vehicle. Um, let me flip it around and show you this blue color. Um, I didn't love it in pictures, but I actually don't hate it in person. Uh, but if you do get the the one LT, sorry, I'm flipping the camera on there. If you get the one LT trim, I'm pretty sure all that blue is uh, black, so or black or gray. So that won't be an issue if you're looking into that trim. Uh, I love the steering wheel. I like how it has a paddle for um, regen to bring you to a complete stop. I like that behind the wheel there is. Um, the skip track and the volume, that's really cool because then you don't have to like fumble with your thumb to find things. I really like it. They put a lot of thought into it. I really like the infotainment. <laughs> Upon initial uh, impression, it's big, it's awesome. Google Maps is awesome. If you want to do it, you can put Google Maps right on here and it looks great. Uh, so yeah, I've really been enjoying this screen. And then, um, I don't know, I just, the seats are comfortable. I feel comfortable. I think this is gonna be a good car for me. So I drove it around for a little bit. Honestly, for being front wheel drive, it, it wasn't as lethargic as I thought it was gonna be. And so, yeah, no complaints there. Um, 
I'll, I'll get more impressions upon that as I drive it. But yeah, it's plenty fine for me. You know, when you buy a car like this, you're not really looking at racing it. And I'm not into that. I just want to be able to drive, enjoy myself. And then if I have to pass someone on the highway, I can pass them easily on the highway. Uh, and I think that this car will be fine with that. I did super cruise a little bit, but I'll have to do super cruise a little bit more uh, later. Um, but it was, it was fine. Uh, the highway that I have near the dealership doesn't have a lot of map road. So I'll have to get onto the highways um, within the coming days to give a little bit better impression about that. But yeah, I, everything's great. Uh, as far as suspension is concerned, that, that feels nice. It handles uh, bumps and variations in the road really, really well. So yeah, I, I really am loving this car so far. Um, I've not found any issues. Setting up Spotify was easy. Setting up Waze was easy. Setting up my Google account was easy. You just scan it with the camera and you're in. It was like, it was super easy. Um, so there's that. So what am I going to do with this car? I'm going to do a ton with this car. I'm going to do range tests. I'm going to do charging tests. I've actually got some experiments I'm going to do with the charging because I've got some theories I want to test. Uh, what else am I going to do? I'm going to compare this to the ID4. If there's other cars you want me to compare it to, let me know. Um, I don't know anyone with uh, other cars, so maybe some people can lend some cars. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to be doing all sorts of tutorials with everything within the infotainment and the driving system and the super cruise and the steering wheel and the heads up and so not heads up display, the driver's display. I'm doing it all. Um, going to do a boomerang challenge, going to do road trips. It's going to be awesome. So uh, if you have anything you specifically want, please put that down in the comments and I will add it to my list of things. Um, I'm a teacher, so I have this summer to kind of shoot all these videos and get them to you all so you can make your purchasing decisions about the Equinox EV or help you understand your vehicle a little bit more. So everyone, that's pretty much all I have on today's video. I just wanted to kind of introduce my new car. I don't have a name for it yet, so hopefully sooner rather than later I'll have a good name for it. My last car's name was Alfred because my wife's car's name was The Dark Knight. Uh, and so I'm not sure if it would be Batman themed. I don't know. We'll see. I'll find something. I'll find something. So anyways, thanks again for watching. Um, again, if you are interested in the Equinox EV or you own one and you want to learn more about it, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get all of that information as it comes out. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you all next time.